Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about raw water from Summit Springs. And uh, first of all, this is a huge bottle of water. Let me put it next to my head. This is uh, a lot of water. It's 1.5 liters. It's almost half a gallon. And um, Summit Springs sent me 12 of these. And this is not cheap water. This is supposed to be very good quality water. Uh, a 12 pack of this is with with shipping is about sixty dollars so it's about five dollars per bottle so it's it's not cheap but they're not they're not competing with cheap waters though they're trying to have the best quality not the cheapest water um, and this is a small company I was actually emailed by the president of the company Brian Pullen and he just based on the videos and based on his emails, and everything. He seems incredibly passionate about water and um, just having the best quality possible. And um, just based on his interview questions, he actually seems to be incredibly knowledgeable about water and the, the spring and everything involved with the bottling process. And um, an interesting thing that I read on the website is there's no nutritional label. There's no nutritional info on here. Um, Here's a bottle from Walmart. Um, if you notice, it has nutritional info right there with the calorie count and the um, sodium and stuff. So what I found out from their website is that legally, if you add chemicals and you add and alter the water, you have to have this nutritional label. But because this is natural spring water and they... they do nothing to alter it. They don't need to legally add the nutritional info to the bottle. So I thought that was an interesting thing. And the uh, the bottling company is apparently 50 feet away from the source. So the water just bubbles up from the ground naturally on its own, and then it goes down through a pipe to a bottling company just 50 feet away. So they're not like transporting it through tons and tons of pipes. So, I think that's a pretty cool thing. And, um, so let's open it up. So, it feels like a good quality plastic, very thick. And, uh, this is a lot of water. Hopefully, I can finish it all. Um, so, it's it's from Maine, like I said, and the bottling company has been around since the 1800s. Um, it was originally a, there was also a hotel there, and people would travel very long distances just to get the water. I think it's apparently that good, and um, it does taste very good. And so, another thing is. I agree with Brian's views on um, chlorine and fluoride. He's strongly against them. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I'm also against adding fluoride to, to water. I think it's good for your teeth, but I don't think it's good to to drink. And so let's have some more. Some good water. <laughs> um, another thing he pointed out is that this tastes good. Like this is warm water. This tastes good even warm. He pointed out on um, one of his videos that um, with a lot of bottles of water, people chill them before they drink them just to mask the taste. But this tastes good even like even warm. I think that's. Um, an interesting point he made. So, yeah, check out their website. Um, I think... Oh, another thing. They even included this in the box. It's like a, 
a fact sheet on the best way to store the water for even the best, like, the best taste and to make it last the longest. This is not something you see, like, in a regular <laughs> case of water. Like, this just shows how passionate they actually are about having the best quality. Yeah, summitsprings.com. Check it out. Thanks a lot for, um, for watching, and thanks Summit Springs for the, the bottle of water. It tastes really good. I'm going to give it two thumbs up.